Hello. So today we are here back with something that many people have doubts about. Some people are over excited about and some people are scared about. So what is it? It is about ultrasounds in pregnancy. So first let's ask that question. Is ultrasound safe in pregnancy? Yes. It has no ionizing radiation unlike x-rays or CTs. So ultrasound is safe in pregnancy. Now that we have answered that big question, let's say why is it important to do ultrasound in pregnancy? There are very many reasons for it and that depends on, on what time are we doing the ultrasound. So generally a pregnant woman would be asked to do their first ultrasound somewhere between 6 to 8 weeks and I prefer otherwise an uncomplicated pregnancy scan to be done at 8 weeks. Now why do we do that? It is to understand how many pregnancies are there? Are all the pregnancies sitting inside the uterus? Is there any additional issues like a uterine problem like a fibroid? Is there any issues like ovarian cyst along with it? Is there any bleeding internally that we can see? And of course to see if the pregnancy is viable which means has the baby's heartbeat started? This first scan is generally done as a transvaginal scan and in some occasions as a transabdominal scan where you will have to fill up your bladder and have a scan done. As we go on, the number of times we do an abdominal scan this early in pregnancy are coming down because of the vast majority of information about the pregnancy that we get with a transvaginal scan. So that is done. There has been a scan done at around 8 weeks. Pregnancy is understood to be viable. Heartbeat is nicely there. And then we go on. When should we schedule your next scan appointment? The next scan appointment is generally at around 11 to 14 weeks. I prefer that scan to be done at around 13 plus weeks. Why? Because this is a time the baby is a little bigger. We can see most of the organ systems quite clearly. We can detect a great amount of gross anomalies in the baby and of course we can do Down syndrome and genetic screening for the baby. So that makes it a very important scan. This scan is mostly done transabdominally but today more and more doctors are also doing it vaginally because once again the information we gather, the image clarity we get with a vaginal scan is way higher than with an abdominal scan. So can vaginal scans trouble the baby or cause bleeding? No. We have done enough scans for pregnant women vaginally to say that it doesn't cause a harm. It may not be very comfortable to the pregnant women. So as doctors, we are supposed to make them more comfortable by giving them the answers to their question, is it painful, is it going to trouble my baby? Yes, of course, we are going to give you those answers. But at the end of the day, what you need to understand is, it is just for a better look at the baby. And of course, the uterus and ovaries along with it. For instance, in my practice, I do most of my 11 to 13 week scan abdominally. But suppose, if the tummy fat is little higher or the skin is too dry and it is not letting the ultrasound beam pass through, I am not able to get a good image of the fetus or if I suspect an anomaly which I am not able to see clearly through the tummy, I might insist that we do an additional transvaginal scan to make sure that the baby is alright. Similarly, a little later in pregnancy, we may do a transvaginal scan if we suspect a cervical length problem. If if a woman is probably at a higher risk for a preterm labor, maybe she is carrying twins. The cervical length is checked better through a transvaginal scan. In certain babies in whom we suspect anomalies, which we just spoke about earlier, we may ask for a vaginal scan because certain structures are well defined imaging wise through a transvaginal sonography. Now that's about the first trimester screening scan. Then a next anomaly scan is being given for most of the women which can be scheduled between 16 weeks to 22 weeks. 
I prefer doing the same scan at around 19 to 20 weeks unless we have suspected some problems in the 11 to 13 week scan. A normally scan is done to look at each organ by organ and see to it that everything is developing correctly. It also marks as the first growth scan the baby has. If we have any sort of early growth issues, it can be picked up at that point of time. If all is well, the next scan is generally scheduled at around 28 to 32 weeks to look at baby's growth, the water around the baby and the blood supply that the baby is receiving. If all is well, then usually the final scan is around 36 to 37 weeks to know that baby is now ready for delivery and we are not expecting any issues with the delivery process. In between these should do, must do, will be scheduled scans, you may have additional scans with respect to the complications that you have. For instance, if you have say a bleeding at your 9 or 10 weeks, you would be asked to do a scan to look at where is the bleeding coming from, is there any internal clots that seen, how is the baby, is the heartbeat still fine, so that the further management can be understood and your doctor can give you the right treatment based on it. Also, if the baby is not showing an appropriate weight at 28 weeks, you may be asked to repeat a scan at 30 weeks or 32 weeks to look at the water around the baby, to look at the blood flow to the baby and things like that. Similarly, it is not uncommon to ask for a 24 weeks fetal echo or fetal neurosonogram studies to specifically look in much detail the brain or the heart of the baby respectively if there is a suspected anomaly or if mother has any history or any disease that could put the baby at risk for any of these troubles. So those are about the scans that we do in pregnancy. Now other than the baby, do we look at any other thing? Of course yes. Ultrasounds are used today, especially in the early part of the pregnancy, to understand if you have a risk of preterm delivery, that is with the cervix, we have already spoken about it. And two, preeclampsia or severe hypertension in pregnancy. Uterine artery dopplers, cervical length, placental position, risk of bleeding which it refers to. These are all additional markers that we may look at at different scans. Presence of a fibroid can also be a deterrent in certain pregnancies. So there are very many advantages of doing an ultrasound in a timely manner in pregnancy and once again it is very safe so you don't have to really worry about it. I hope I have answered a good number of doubts you might have in your mind about scans in pregnancy. Any further queries? Please meet me at Trinity Healthcare Clinic, Neeladri Road, Electronic City and I am Dr. Anu Joseph. Thank you.